Hi, this is Nag. Today we will see PLC interfaced with the G120C drive. So first of all, we need to create a project in the DI portal. And now I'm going to configure the PLC controller. And now I'm going to select my CPU that is 1211C DC DC DC. So you need to select the part number and then you need to change the version according to your PLC. And then click on OK. So basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to control the G120C with the PLC. So first you need to select the properties and once the you can you can see the Ethernet options and you need to change the IP with the 19. So I have configured my PLC with the 19 because I have a network of PLCs. Later you need to change the PLC name also. So uh, my PLC is having a name as PLC underscore 9. Later you can save this and now you can see the name has changed in the project window. So before we start the program uh, in the program block, now we need to understand the concept of telegram structure in Cinemax G120C. So you can pause here and you can see the hex code for the control word to run whether in clockwise or in anti-clockwise direction. So first you need to insert the instructions onto the rungs. So now I'm going to select the normally open instruction onto the rung. So the idea is to move the hex code into the control word register. So for that you need a move block. So for that I have taken an empty box here. So I'm taking another rung to transfer the speed code. So in the first rung I'm going to transfer the control word and in the second rung I'm going to transfer the speed. So for the first rung as you can see I have taken a memory bit and with the move instruction and here i'm going to type my memory address mw a memory word 10 into the uh, the control word register qw 256 and this rung is used for the speed so for that i'm using a memory bit m0.1 followed by the move instruction to transfer the speed code so for that speed i'm using this memory word register as mw20 it is up to you, you can use any memory word register, but make sure for the control word you need to use QW256 and for the speed QW258. So whatever you type in this memory register will be transferred to, to this QW256 that is control word register. So before that uh, we need to configure, I mean we need to connect this PLC to this G120C drive for that open this device configuration and click on network view. And here you can see uh, this network, I mean you need to connect this PLC with the G120C drive and as you can see that uh, the connection is established with the ProfitNet. So now your G120C is connected to the PLC9 and now click on PLC and then click on download so that the whatever the configuration or uh, the changes that you have done to the PLC will be downloaded into the PLC and now you can see the PLC has detected in the network and then click on load. So your program will be loaded into this PLC. As you can see, uh, you can click on stop all and then click on load so that the program will be loaded into the PLC. Make sure the start module is on and then click on finish. So all your program and the settings, the configuration will be loaded into your PLC. Now your PLC is good to go and click on main OB. And now you need to select the monitor option here. You need to make sure it is on. And you can see the rungs will get highlighted. And now it is ready to start. So first we need to uh, ensure that if any fault then you need to acknowledge that fault acknowledgement by using this hex code so i'm going to copy this hex code and then i'm going to load into the control word register so i have copied it and now you can see i'm pasting in the control word register and by the moment when i select this memory bit when i modify it to one you can see the data is transferred and the fault acknowledgement is clear. So you can use this step only if there is any fault in your drive. If there is no fault in the drive, then you can skip this step. Then 
you can move on to the next step that is now I want to clear this uh, fault acknowledgement and I make sure the merger configuration is stopped so I'm copying this code and I'm pasting over here and I'm clicking on OK so what happens is the fault acknowledgement is clear and now I'm selecting the on code so I want the motor to be on I'm initiating the motor with this code and with this the motor will get initiated by clicking on OK now the motor is waiting for the speed command so I'm going to select the speed as you can see this is the RPM and with respect to the hex code I'm selecting the maximum speed in the hexadecimal code and I'm copying the same over here in the register MW20 the moment when I select this M0.1 as high when I toggle it to high or modify it to 1 now you can see the motor has started with the maximum speed with the 1400 rpm in the clockwise direction so on the left you can see the motor is initiated with the maximum speed and now if you want to clear the speed I mean like you can select uh, the code according to the speed according to the rpm you can calculate that so now I'll stop the motor I made it as 0 so that the motor stops as gradually the motor uh, as you can see now it is stopped and now I want to run the motor in anti-clockwise that is in reverse direction I am copying the code the hex code and I need to transfer that code into the control water register make sure that whatever the direction or or the changes that you want you can copy that in the control water register only and this QW258 is only for the speed so again I um, want to run this motor in anti-clockwise direction with the full RPM so I'm copying the same code anti-clockwise with the 1400 RPM and now you can see the motor has initiated in anti-clockwise direction with the maximum 1400 you can select the speed according to your requirement you can just calculate the speed in the code and you can transfer the same in this register and by the moment when you modify the value as you can see I changed it to zero so what happens now is the motor stops and uh, no RPM and I want to off the motor with this code and I'm transferring the code into this QW256 that is a control word register and also I'm uh, disabling the speed as well as the control word register so this is how we can control the G120C drive with the PLC thank you